this video we would uh, like to tell you how to install a VS code so in order to install a VS code we have to follow the following link and paste it in the Google Chrome like I have did it earlier now you'll have since it, my version is 64 Windows 64 I'll install it directly It is getting installed. Uh, okay, now we have installed the Visual Studio Code uh, in our system. So, um, there are many platforms for creation of SAP UFA web application. Like uh, earlier, we use Eclipse or say Web ID, or now we are using Business Application Studio SAP BS. Okay and uh, we can also do the same using the visual studio code so there are many platforms or tools where we can start up the development for sap ui5 so that's why here i am letting you know how to install the vs code and uh, quickly start up the development of ui5 without uh, waiting for a web id full stack or creating any id in business application studio or something else so let's start so here we have installed the VS code. Now we'll have to install the required plugins. So there are certain extensions which uh, we would be downloading for UI5. So let me go to the extension and we'll search SAP UI5. Or simply type UI5. Okay, so see there are many extensions that are available. So you have to install all those extensions. Okay, I'm searching, yeah, like SAP Fury. It seems that uh, the green, uh, sorry, the blue tick, I believe that they, uh, since I have already installed as a business application studio in the system, so at that point of time i have already installed all this extension so that's why uninstall option is coming for me otherwise i would have to install it separately so you don't you just have to click click on the required extension over here and just click on install button and it would get installed the moment it gets installed now you have to go to command palette okay from the view and you will have to search for like fury open application generator yeah so these are the templates which you can take for creation of uh, sap ufa application you don't have to do uh, coding from the scratch like creation of each and every file like controller view or index or html file there are many files which are required for uh, running an app applications B but if you are choosing this template uh, pre generated code will appear for you and you have to do a little bit of coding from the ui end and uh, will run the application very quickly so let's start once so we'll select uh, like there in the application type we have sap fury elements or sap ui freestyle so for my first video i would like to select sap uff freestyle and as you can see it is it has worklist application sap fury list detail sap uff application so i have chosen sap uff freestyle as you can see on my selection there are few predefined templates that are auto populated over here one is worklist kind of application another is uh, list detail application another is sap ui5 application so these are like if you select any of the template based upon your business requirement it would generate you a predefined template for your development ease okay now if you are choosing uh, suppose sap ui5 application then uh, it would uh, create you some uh, empty uh, files of views and controllers where you have to 
write your own logic business logic and the respective layout you have to design but if you are suppose selecting work list application or a list detail some predefined code will get auto generated and creation of a sap ufo application with selection of these templates like uh, a fury uh, if you choose in fury elements or from a freestyle is very much easy and your application gets ready within a few seconds basically so let me choose SAP uh, worklist application for you as of now and click on the next button. So it would ask me for a data source. So I'll so here I'll choose the connect to an auditor data service from the data source and put a URL. Uh, this is uh, this URL is of Northwind URL. If I show you in Google Chrome, uh, okay. So this is a Northwind URL which is a uh, freely exposed okay we can make use of it by uh, for running our application it requires no authentication okay like uh, if we do dollar metadata it will load all the metadata information for this OData service we'll make use of this uh, northwind in this application for showing you so till then it is rendering yeah it is got rendered so see there are categories there are customers there are employees okay so let us check uh, okay there are order id and product id so there is some kind of relationship between employees to employees order to employee there is a i can see there is some relation navigation is happening so let us check that Okay, uh, we can do this directly from here also. Okay, let me click on the next button. Yeah, it is asking me the object collection. So suppose we'll give uh, order or employee. Suppose employee, if we can see employee E. See, employees is there. So collection key. Employee ID, as you can see, employee ID is the primary key over here, where it is here. Employee ID is the property key, that's why. And we have to choose the object ID. So these properties will get populated over here. So we'll again choose employee ID over here. Okay. And uh, it can be object number reports to an object measure that is object unit of measure okay let me click none over here and again click on the next button now it would these are auto populated okay if we want we can change it for us suppose there is a name plus it is asking so i may give like a m dot it is north winner sorry sorry hm dot srv dot north wind this is my application namespace uh, sample application one suppose this is the module name which is project one we'll click on the next button directly yes finish and now we will see that my application got auto populated over here in the project section over here it would load the required dependencies which is required uh, for this application as well there are certain node modules which will also get installed parallelly all this ob background process will be handled by this visual studio code and we don't have to do it ourselves okay so if i can see this application got generated see there is a controller there is view i18n file local services models everything got created automatically and we don't have to do anything so without wasting much more time see now the node model got also populated these are node models are nothing but the dependencies okay 
see it is the application status so you can directly click on preview application from here and start no flp so these are basically the command line you can click uh, you can directly write the command over here in the terminal section and your application will get opened up so if i copy this and paste this in this section so my application got open in a local port 8080 is a local port okay see so i have selected employee id and uh, table unit number of column title okay let me click over here so no information is coming but your application is getting populated right so let us try to make some more changes over there so as you can see this is the object page and work list view yes and the work list view there are two columns title and this so we can add a few more columns over here as well right so let us add few more columns okay uh, for which we may take help from here this is no this is some separate service okay this is the north wind service okay fine let us add the first name last name and uh, id we have to give some kind of id over here okay id let me check if we don't give id is it giving me some error or not oh no i believe it has to be given some id earlier in web id if you don't give any id it would work but in over business application studio and uh, best id is mandatory otherwise it would give you some warnings or error you know so why it is giving text class can't have an empty id okay we'll have to give id for this too no issues we'll cover all these things in depth just today is the first day and that's why i am just giving you an overview how simple is it is to create an application in ui5 it's first name text id last name text id parallelly so now will be as you have seen i have added name first name last name it's a column title and the number let me comment it i did not require this as of now and this is an object identifier which is employee id i believe it must be Taking some kind of ID, PMP ID, suppose. Hmm. Now, similarly, we'll have to put ID for all these one and two. We have three columns, so let me add three columns as of now. So first name and ID should be unique throughout the page. ID must be unique throughout the page, otherwise you will get error. So text, text has a property called uh, txt. Libris and put the value. It's the first name. And again, here's the last name. I just save it and again we will be accepting some ID. CUL ID. Save it and run it. See, these are the middlewares that are doing your job. The moment you are clicking on the save button, the middleware is getting executed and automatically your page gets loaded over here. See, I don't have to click the refresh button. The middleware does your, does its job. So what is middleware? How it is working? Uh, it's architecture. I'll explain you in the later courses. So see, for employee ID, first name, last name got populated. And the moment you are clicking over here, it is navigating it to the detail page. Right? This is a kind of master detail application which we created. See, for this, did we do a single line of code? Just we added some lines of columns. So 
as to make you understand how it works. But I didn't write a single line of code, JavaScript code in controller, neither I have done any CSS or anything. Just I did a configuration. Um, all the inputs that I have provided at the beginning. Okay. Now as as I can see that these are coming as red. Okay. So these so basically there is no ID specified to these things. Anna? If you hover over it, so there is an empty ID. You can see the overflow toolbar class can't have empty ID. That's why they are coming over here. But it would run. It would not stop your application. Okay. It would not stop. So this is how a simple SAP UI5 application is created in Visual Studio Code and without any effort you are running it in, in your browser as a local host. Right? That's all for today's video. If you like the video, please do like and subscribe my channel for